I'm standing here in front of one of my favorite trees, and it's one of the most beautiful conifers with soft, graceful foliage. It's called the Eastern Hemlock, and it's the state tree of Pennsylvania. And there are about 10 species that occur in the Americas. Not all of them are important for uh, landscape purposes, but uh, this one is a nice tree that has a conical form to it. And it's a medium-sized tree. It, in the east, it gets to be between 50 and 80 feet tall, but the western hemlocks can get over 150 feet tall. And in terms of its growth rate, it's considered fairly slow. It only puts on less than 12 inches a year to up to 24 inches, depending on what kind of soil it's on. Now, my trees are planted in a very light, sandy soil, and so they're not putting on the maximum growth they could. Um, the range for this tree in the U.S. is north to Maine, south to northern Georgia to Alabama. In the Great Lakes states, it gets west to Minnesota with outliers in southern Michigan, western Ohio, and southern Indiana. And some populations are found east of the Appalachian uh, area and also the Middle Atlantic states. Now, as far as this tree preferring a planting site, it likes a moist, well-drained soil. Now, sandy soils are well-drained, but mine is very sandy, so it's a little dry during the summer months, but the tree has a very extensive root system and it will do just fine, which it is doing just fine. Now, it, this particular plant has flat needles and they grow to less than an inch long. They're very fine, they look almost fern-like. And on the new growth, it's a nice light green and as that uh, needle gets older, it tends to turn its darker green color. Now, it produces one of the smallest cones among the conifers. And here's an example of me holding a um, hemlock cone. And right next to it, I have a uh, northern spruce tree and the cone from that. The needles are also high in vitamin C, so you can make a medicinal tea out of it. And if ever everything falls apart and you're out there in the wilderness kind of scavenging for things, remember, hemlock will get you sources of vitamin C. Um, this tree is also a good choice if you have erosion problems. Once it gets established, it will hold the soil in place. The bark contains tannins, which was used by Native Americans to produce dyes for leather and wool, a practice that still continues today. Also, the wood was used for basket weaving and to make items for children. Today, the lumber is used for roofing, flooring, paneling, and furniture. But as a landscape tree, it makes a good specimen tree, which means it's a focal point in your landscape. In addition to that, 96 bird and 47 mammal species are associated with hemlock in the Northeast United States. Deer, porcupine, and squirrel like to feed on various parts of the tree, but they're no big threat to it unless it's a small tree, then the deer can browse it and kind of ruin the tree. The birds associated with hemlocks include the black-throated green warbler, the black Bernian warblers, the oven bird, the hermit thrushes, the blue-head vireos, and the Acadian flycatchers. But even though this is one of my favorite trees, it's really in, in danger from an insect called the woolly adelgid. We normally call it the hemlock woolly adelgid. And this is an insect-like um, creature that will kill the hemlocks. And what they do is they feed on the nutrients in the water storage cells at the base of the needles. And they believe that this pest came in from Japan on some nursery stock. Well, it's pretty small, so it's easy to miss but it's really costing us some serious problems. And as I was doing some research for this video, I was looking uh, at some information where some of the oldest hemlocks were, and they talked about some 300-year-old hemlocks along the Appalachian Trail, and uh, they were being devastated by this problem. In Michigan, um, not as much yet, but for a specimen tree, you can control it because we have certain pesticides that can be put on the ground, absorbed into the tree, which will probably take care of this, but you can't do that in a forest. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these trees can last up to a thousand years. And I visited some old growth hemlocks in the Upper Peninsula at a place called the Hemlock Cathedral. And some of these trees are just about 300 years old. That dates back to the early 1700s. That I thought was worth a trip up there. And if you're ever in the state and you'd like to see them, after crossing the Mackinac Bridge coming from the south on 75, you cross the bridge going to St. Ignace and catch US-2 and go west. And you stay on the west road until you reach County Road 513. And this will take you onto the Stonington Peninsula. And you travel about seven miles to the Little Bay Dinoc Recreation Area. Take the Mayberry History Trail. 
and you'll reach an area called the Hemlock Cathedral. And um, I don't know if you can Google it, but uh, it's worth the trip. You don't see very many of these trees anymore because many of them were lumbered out and this was a section that was missed. And when you get on the trail, you only have to walk about uh, half a mile or less and you're there. And I have some pictures here in my video and I've showed you some of them already and I'll continue to show them as I'm speaking here. But um, they were quite uh, fantastic trees to see. A number of them were down for various reasons, maybe storms or other things. But the ones that were remaining were big enough to be impressed by, uh, especially on such a slow growing tree. So I will do some more videos on trees and talk about the ones that are good for landscape use and other interesting little facts. And I hope you enjoy this. My name is Gary Heilig again. I'm a retired horticulture agent for MSU Extension, and I will see you later. I'm out. Uh, they also use the bark for, or I should say the wood for wooden baskets or weaving. Uh, that's screwed up. <laughs> the bark control, <laughs> Let me go get my water. Yes, sir. -y. Hopefully, that'll untie the tongue. <laughs> this is a problem. Okay. The bar contains tannins. Why don't I know that? Just a little water. Quite a bit of water here, so I guess I can screw up many more times. <laughs> okay. <clears throat>